Yesterday, I learned more about how overload worked. Apparently, slime and leaper can be killed only using one item in that room. So basically, your first overload had to not destroy the item and then your second one had to be super effective to get them all. So basically, like for example, your first overload has to be between 80 or 90 uh, damage and then your second one has to be either 120 or 110 plus for your overload to kill all the slimes or the leapers in the room you're currently placing them at. Congratulations to Jurik for actually getting uh, one of the scraps in the slime room by that method. That's amazing. Because I really didn't think on doing that because I thought like uh, each of the room always deals with uh, the same amount of uh, HP that the item holds, like 100 HP or something, so yeah. The rest of the people really didn't bother with that scrap except I was the only one who bothered with that and took damage regardless. Moving on. I was also sleeping very very late because I got a bit bothered by my brother and then I woke up for like a couple of hours. It was... what a night I have to say, but uh, did talk with some folks and that's okay. So, the contaminant for the install ship upgrades, we got stealth for the scouting upgrade with 280 for the HP in total. Twiki can attack Leaper to the face, but I'm going to use Twiki type of drone either way. We're currently at Muteki B, sorry. With unknown amount of infestation types, good hold integrity, and stable age. Huh. One jump cell, that's nice. Second generator, open the door. Good. Okay. You have to make it. Yes. <laughs> okay. That was super close. I'm gonna open the tree. I don't have to worry for the ship for too long anyway. Just finish that mission that way. Also, I forgot to check if this is toggle or not, and that is not toggle. Hey, hey, 
getting down getting that one done quick and speedy and even beating LB by um well many second was that again? Forty two seconds. <laughs>